Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and I am the man with a cartoon obsession. It's been a few months since I've uploaded anything to this channel. Long story short, my mental health has been really bad, and it's still something I'm struggling with. However, I wanted to try and go back to doing things I enjoy, such as making Cartoon Obsession videos. I figured if anything could give me motivation to return, it would be the release of Fiona and Cake. Sure enough, that's exactly what my return video will be about. So let's get into my review of Adventure Time, Fiona and Cake. Fiona and Cake is an Adventure Time spin-off, and it's the third series in the franchise. It has one season that consists of 10 episodes. It was released on Max in two episode installments from August 31st, 2023 to September 28th, 2023. Adventure Time was originally created by Pendleton Ward, but Adam Muto is the one in charge here. This is nothing new though, as he served as Adventure Time's showrunner since season 5. Federator Studios and Cartoon Network Studios still handle the production, so nothing has changed on that front. The main thing that has changed is the target demographic for this show. Fiona and Cake is aimed more at a young adult audience, which is what a lot of Max's recent output seems to be doing. I like this trend, and I'll talk a little more about it specifically regarding this show a little later. Before I continue, it's been a while since I've put out a video, so I would greatly appreciate it if you could take just a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more animation related content. I'll also throw in a big old spoiler alert for those who haven't watched the show yet. This show doesn't have the setup I was expecting since it depicts Fiona Campbell as an ordinary person and Cake as an ordinary cat, and they live in an ordinary world. I suppose it makes sense though since they weren't real characters in Adventure Time. They were originally characters in an old TV show whom Ice King wrote stories about. However, the beginning of this show takes place in an alternate universe where the Great Mushroom War didn't happen. It has alternate versions of other characters from the Fiona and Cake universe like Marshall Lee and Prince Gumball or Gary Prince in this show. This goes without saying, but there are plenty of references to the original Adventure Time in this world right down to the characters. They all resemble characters from the original show. While this is fully expected, I still love it. Fiona is an average, everyday citizen who's just struggling to get through life. She works a bunch of terrible jobs, and she yearns for a world that's more magical. Cake is just a regular cat, Marshall Lee is a musician who is at odds with his mother, and Gary is a baker who wants his candy people creations to be enjoyed by all. The first episode's theme song is relatable. So much so, in fact, that it hit me hard when I actually looked at the lyrics. This ordinary world is present throughout the entirety of the series, but it's not the only world we see. At the end of the first episode, Cake gets transported into the land of Ooh, which is what really sets this show in motion. Episode 2 takes us in a completely different direction as it takes place in the land of Ooh. It follows the events of Simon Petrikov's life years after he stopped being the Ice King. He feels so empty now, like he has nothing left to live for. It's really interesting, and it's cool to see older versions of Finn and other characters I won't lie though, this episode gets kind of depressing. It's still really good regardless. It's also when Simon accidentally transports Cake to Ooh. Fiona gets transported in the next episode, and episode 4 is where everything starts to come together. What I mean by that is we see who actually created Fiona and Cake. We also find out why their world is different from what we're used to. Prismo created the world and its characters, but that universe was unauthorized. This causes the God Auditor, Scarab, to pursue Prismo and eliminate Fiona, Cake, and their world. Fiona and Cake escape with Simon, and they travel from world to world looking for the crown. That way, Simon can become the Ice King again, and Fiona and Cake can go back into his head where their world is located, and escape Scarab. I really like seeing the different worlds. They're all just alternative versions of the one we know and love, since it's another multiverse type situation, but it's so cool to see all of these different worlds. There's one in which the dynamic between Ice King or Winter King and Princess Bubblegum or Candy Queen is reversed. There's a world that's overrun by vampires and Bonnie fights against them with some other familiar faces. We even get to see Farm World again, which I was happy about. I loved that world in the original series, so getting to see an adult version of Farm World, Finn, his family, and other returning characters from that world is huge. 
I think the whole multiverse idea has been overdone by this point, but being the big Adventure Time fan that I am, I can't help but enjoy seeing all these different characters and worlds intertwine. There are plenty of returning characters from everywhere in the timeline and multiverse. I mentioned that we see some characters from Fiona and Cake's world, and the most important two besides the titular ones, of course, are Gary, Prince, and Marshall Lee. There's a bit of a romantic subplot in Fiona and Cake's world involving these two. It makes sense given the characters they're alternate world versions of, but it's still nice to see. Episode 7 even has some cool overlap between the main plot and subplot. The transitions are done very well. Shermie and Beth return in this series as well. If you don't remember them, they were the adventurers from the future that were seen in the original series finale. They play an interesting role here. At one point, Simon basically gets isekai into Shermie's mind and he tries to find more information about the crown in order to help Fiona and Cake. The voice cast is mostly the same from the original series, including the Fiona and Cake universe characters, with a couple of exceptions. The voice for any characters based on the Earl of Lemongrab were done by Jinx Monsoon, Andrew Rennells steps in as the voice for Gary Prince, and Prismo is voiced by Sean Rohani in this series. It's too bad that Kumail Nanjiani didn't reprise his role as Prismo, because I personally prefer his portrayal of the character. The story that I saw was that he was offered the chance to reprise his role, but his agent never sent him the offer. That's really unfortunate, but I will say that I still think Sean Rohani does well as Prismo. The visuals are exactly the same as in the original series. Fiona and Cake look a little different at first, but they get changed back to their original forms in episode 4. I'm glad to see that. I like the new forms, but I still prefer the originals. The music is also pretty much the same as in the original series, which I expected. The song that plays in the last scene of the show is pretty good though. It's called Blue Shift and it's by an artist named Kendall. I recommend checking that song out. The writing feels very similar to the original series as well, but this show is obviously targeted towards an older audience. The writing reflects that, and I really enjoy it. The original uses more kid-friendly versions of swear words. Fiona and Cake does as well, but it mixes it in with actual curse words. Nothing too profane though, and they're just sprinkled in throughout. The same with some of the more suggestive language that's used. Hey! I found some dirty tapes! Maybe it's a clue! Ooh, butt stuff! The show is also a little heavier on blood and more mature themes. Adventure Time has always touched on more mature subjects, but this show has more room to explore them a little bit. I cannot recommend this show as an entry point into the Adventure Time franchise. The story takes place after the events of the original series, and you won't understand any of the references if you haven't watched the original. Just about everything you see and a lot of things you hear are references, so you'll be very lost if you're not familiar with Adventure Time. Speaking of references, there are tons of references to Cheers. That's another thing that was referenced in the original, so it makes perfect sense as to why it's referenced here too. I love the references, but I do think there are a couple too many. That's a minor complaint though. In fact, I don't really have any major complaints. I would have liked to have seen Fiona and Cake's daily lives a little more before they got transported to Ooh, but we kind of do in the episode 1 opening. There may be some other scenes that could have been expanded on a little more, but I love this show the way it is. This is a fantastic addition to the Adventure Time franchise. It gives so much more depth to the Fiona and Cake universe, and it expands upon other universes that have already been established and ones that we see for the first time here. Like I said, this isn't a good entry point into the franchise. This is definitely a show for Adventure Time fans, and as an Adventure Time fan, I am beyond pleased with how this show turned out. Overall, I give Adventure Time Fiona and Cake a 9 out of 10. I'm curious to see if we'll get another show in this franchise. Once upon a time, I was opposed to that idea, but since both Distant Lands and Fiona and Cake have been excellent, I would love to see if there are any more stories to tell in any of these magical worlds. What if she's just bored with everything and wishes the world was more magical? It should be more magical. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any other cartoons, anime, or other animated works that you want me to talk about in the future, please let me know. After all, it's not my channel, it's our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check out my social media pages, audition for an outro, and join the official Cartoon Obsession Discord, the links for all of which are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I'm Paradise, and thank you for watching Cartoon Obsession.